I'm Herbert Brown Jr. This is Herbert Brown Sr. And this is Brown Town Farms. My dad, after he retired, he started farming a little bit, um, just basically for the community and for the family. Um, after I got home from college, um, you know, we decided to make it an actual business and try to make some money from it. And um, after, you know, we grew strawberries for the first year, we kind of followed that trend and just continued to grow berries and tried to expand on the vegetable crops. So Brown Town Farms was, was bought in uh, 1908. It was June 13th, 1908. The original farm was 348 acres. It was purchased by Sandy Brown and Collins Jackson. Um, over the years, the family split, split the land up and you know different families got their portions. And right now we're sitting at 109 acres. Recently, we've been selling a lot off the farm. Strawberry sales have been doing pretty good off for the farm. Uh, we sell to some wholesale markets, to CSAs, um, occasionally a restaurant or two, and um, occasionally a grocery store in Richmond. My interest in farming pretty much started um, right when I got out of college. Um, I never had an idea that I was going to grow up to be a farmer, but um, when I got home from school, I realized that you know I needed to take advantage of my resources here, and I watched my dad put in a lot of work here on the farm. And as he um, you know continued to work, I started to see more of his vision as time went on. So I said it'd be the perfect thing for me to do to keep the family farm going and keep our tradition alive. The farm ran in my roots, and uh, my my dad he said, well, if you can't do nothing else, I know I can raise a garden. So I started off with hobby farming, and um, I went to one of my friends. They had a cookout, and um, the lady asked for some tomatoes, and I only had about two tomatoes plants in my little small garden, probably six feet or four feet wide. And I bought large, two large tomatoes over to his house. He told me I embarrassed him by bringing his the large tomatoes. So we started hobby farming and competing against one another. And, uh, and, uh, and a lot of people, they liked the product. They say it was a class A product. So um, I decided to uh, venture out and um, raise a larger garden. And I think my first, when I first um, tried to market, um, I raised like an acre of, of collard greens. This whole field here was an acre. And, um, and I had a problem. I could raise the vegetables, but I couldn't market them. So I looked in the newspaper and uh, they would start talking about a field day at Virginia State. Uh, we are what you need. And I started attending the conferences. and. Um, and I met some fantastic people and gave me some ideas. They, they, they told me how to do the arrangements. They showed me how to, to, to do the market. And um, it looked at me everything just fell in place. Uh, and like I said, I enjoyed doing this. But since I started um, farming and, and purchasing equipment, um, it's a little costly thing, but I've been visiting other farms, been on a bus tour with Virginia State, and, they gave me some ideas, and I was amazed to see how people were doing things um, in the high tunnel. Uh, it would grab my interest, and everything was so perfect coming out of the high tunnel. You know, no blemishes on the fruit or the vegetables, and I said, "This is something I can get into." And uh, so I've been, um, I've been, in, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed doing that. Well, I decided when I first raised the chicken, I had a hard time. Um, the coyote killed my chickens three times, and, um, and each time I would go back and redo the fence and make it more solid, more steel. And um, well, my, the main advice is this: don't give up. I mean, things are going to break down. Things are not going to go as planned. Just write down and take note of what you did. Ask questions. Ask questions. Ask questions. I mean, I learned every day. And every conference and I could go to, uh, I attend. And um, I love new ideas and new ways of doing things. I try to work smarter, not harder. That's my son's favorite word of telling me. Some of the resources that helped us out over the years, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just been so many people and agencies that's helped us out. Our local extension agent, Cynthia Gregg, um, Virginia State Cooperative Extension, Small Farm Outreach Program, NRCS with the high tunnels, uh, Dr. Rafi, Teresa Nartia, um, I, the, list, the list goes on. Um, uh, also, um, other local farmers has helped us out and gave us a lot of ideas. Um, attending different workshops has kind of helped us out a lot too in, in developing uh, what we do here at the farm. 
Thanks, Thanks for, for choosing, choosing Brown Brown Town Farms. Farms.